Alright guys, good morning. It is Monday. Monday, yeah, sorry. I know I do that in every video. I'm sorry, I'll try and get better about knowing what day it is. But it's Monday and I've been spending all freaking morning cleaning. What else is new? Um, what's it called? I just love when my house smells like a lemon and then whatever candle. Not like some diaper that's just been sitting or not like some old socks. And it's got to smell good. It's got to smell clean. You never know who's going to come over. You just, you got, it, you're, it's got, it's got to be taken care of, ladies. It's just, it's got to. <laughs> Anyways, I'm making some oatmeal, and I'm realizing right before I pressed record that I should have recorded it. But this is an oatmeal, and I have such an obsession with oatmeal. I'm glad that it's oatmeal and not, like, chocolate or just something bad for you. I'm glad that it's oatmeal, because oatmeal is very good for you. It helps you, you know, helps out in the bathroom and whatnot, so... Um, what's it called? The recipe that I used for this is just kind of something that I made for myself just because um, before I would put, you know, bananas and cranberries and that's not for that. Nothing's wrong with that. I still do that from time to time. But the problem is I would put like half a stick of butter and then like a cup of sugar and just like all this bad stuff. So since February when I first started the whole diet weight loss journey, I kind of really weaned myself off of all the extra sugar that I would put into my mouth every day so I don't even drink coffee in the mornings anymore and my oatmeal I don't add any sugar to it I just use um you know, I just threw the bottle away too this agave nectar that I got I got this a while back and I just finished the bottle Madhava organic raw agave nectar you can find it I got mine at Fred Meyer I'm sure they sell it at like uh Trader Joe's or Whole Foods or whatever. In fact, I'm pretty sure you can find it just in like the organic section of your thing. Um, what's it called? Really, really good. It sweetens it up for one tablespoon. It's like 60 calories and I only put one tablespoon of that into my oatmeal and it makes it plenty, like way, it makes it hella sweet. So I'll do that. Um, let's see, half a cup of oats, half a cup of milk and half a cup of water. Cook that together. And once that comes together and the oats are soft enough, I'll put in a, just a little bit of cinnamon to your taste. I like, some days I like more, some days I like less, about maybe one and a half teaspoons. And then I will put in a tablespoon of the agave nectar. And oh my God, it's just, what are you doing crazy? It's sweet enough to where like it curbs that sweet tooth that I have every, every day basically it, it curbs it um not I don't want more sugar after I don't have there's no need for me to put any sugar in it and it fills me up oatmeal slow digesting carb very very good for you and yeah it's only like 270 calories for this entire thing so I don't know I again I'll put the like my recipe I guess down below um for anybody who is <sighs> Slow down. For anybody who is wanting to try it, my favorite way of doing this, I just don't have any right now, is to chop up like a half a cup of strawberries and throw that in there. And it's so, so, so good. Anywho, Alyssa's asleep right now and I'm actually going to be putting Joshua down in a little bit, but he's hyper as hell. What are you doing? What are you doing? Boy, oh, ouch. Ouch, crazy boy. Are you going to help me clean up? No. You made the mess. <laughs> you made it, little boy. <laughs> Spank your butt. Spank you. You're crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't hit my tummy right now. It's sore. Please. No. No. Spank you. Will you clean up, please? Let's clean up, yeah? No. Uh, spank you. No. Let's clean up. So Joshua is finally asleep and that means I get to play yesterday if you guys don't watch yesterday's vlog yesterday was Mother's Day and we went to the mall and I was finally able to pick up the um, the Naked 2 Urban Decay palette I already know I'm gonna love this one so much more than um, I liked the first one, which I liked the first one. I use that basically every day. So versatile. You can use certain colors for your eyebrows and just, you know, really easy. Or if you want kind of a sultry look, the first one's great. Um, doing makeup, I would find that that would look 
that palette specifically would work better for people with blue eyes. Granted, the brown eyes, whatever, but for me, what makes my brown eyes, my poo poo brown eyes, um, basically pop more is the more cool tone colors. So that is what the Naked 2 palette has, whereas the Naked 1 palette I would recommend for somebody who has more blue eyes, just because, again, the really gold and shimmery is kind of help that to pop, whereas the taupes, more cool tone colors help with brown eyes pop. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. This is the before. And this is the after. Oh man, I stuck with something very easy today just because um, I, go, I have to go to work tonight and I don't wanna have to like worry about maintaining anything or smudging anything. So yeah, I just used the color Tease. It's like a, um, more of like a, I don't know, it's got purple undertones, but it's like a, dark taupe kind of color a little bit of the black color just barely barely touched it into the crease smoked that all out and yeah that's what i got going on I'm watching cabin in the woods but i think if my spidey senses are correct <gasps> hi <laughs> So happy to see me. Hi, baby girl. What you doing? What you doing? Let's get you out of there. Okay, hold on one second. One second, one second. Oh, oh, you have a caca. Ew, caca. Oh. You made a caca for mommy. Can I, are you gonna help me make my bed? Yay. You gotta help me make my bed, okay? Should have done this earlier, but I didn't. I was planning on, um, Washing all my sheets today, but I'll just change them later. It's not I change my sheets guys. I'm not nasty like that. I do I do do it honestly every At least once a week and typically more than that. I'll do it twice a week for sure, but oh I'm too sore to do it. I'll be here. Oh Yeah, I'm too sore to do it right now. Yay! Don't roll don't roll. I cannot leave this little girl by herself anywhere anymore because you just like to roll everywhere don't you <gasps> oh yes oh yes oh yes you do oh yes you do oh yes you do hey mamas you want to know how you can make your bed when your child's awake <laughs> hi fea fea hi fea fea what you doing boopers oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah Oh yeah! Hey, boo boo! Yeah. A goo, a goo. Ugh. Okay, guys. So I'm here at work. Uh oh! Damn it! You know what? This happens every day. Alyssa gets freaking fingerprints everywhere. All right, let's try this again. Hi, guys. I'm at work right now, and I figured I never really showed you around here, so. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of a tour. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel and don't know, I work at a um, little shop up here in the uh, Portland Beaverton area, um, actually in the Tannisborn Shopping Center. And I've kind of debated back and forth on being like, hey, this is where I work, just because there's some creepy creepies out there. But for all of you creepy creepies who are thinking of uh, coming and visiting me, just so you know, I got plenty of knives right there. And I've got pepper spray in my purse. And I am not afraid to use it. That and I do Thai bow. So, yeah. <laughs> no, but um, I thought I'd show you around. This is kind of the back area. It's a little bit kind of dirty back here. I got some work to do. The person who worked before me didn't quite finish things up before he left. So, yeah. All of our toppings are kept in different little containers. And um, my, my favorite part. Uh oh, I think somebody's ready to go. Yeah, somebody's ready to go. It never fails. Every freaking like 10 minutes I have to clean this freaking carousel thing. Somebody always has to come through and touch the nerds and touch the sprinkles and it's just a pain in my rear end. So yeah, if you guys have never been to a little Froyo shop, this is what, kind of what it looks like in her. We got six different machines that makes for 12 flavors and you can swirl them and do whatever the heck you want. We've got lots and lots of toppings. This place up here is actually kind of like the king of toppings in this area. 
Not that I'm biased because I've worked at a couple of different shops, but this one definitely has the most toppings. And while that is like a good selling point for this place, it's also a pain in my nalgas because I have to refill them and people drop stuff. Um, but if you guys like boba, we've, I say we, like you guys are gonna come here, but yeah, lots and lots of boba here. All kinds of different toppings. This is literally the biggest test of my willpower every single time I come into work because obviously I don't eat any of this. Well, I mean, it used to be a bigger, like harder for me once I first started, you know, doing a whole little like lifestyle change and trying to lose weight. It was definitely harder, but now that my taste buds have changed, I'm just like, eh, I don't care. But if you guys ever go into a little froze, frozen yogurt stop, my favorite is the cake batter yogurt. And right now we've got pomegranate raspberry. That one's really good as well. But when I'm gonna let myself have a little treat, I go for the vanilla frozen yogurt, no sugar added. There's like 80 calories and four ounces. And then I'll just load on the fruit and maybe a little bit of granola for some extra crunch and that's it. Super, super yummy. Um, yeah, but right here, the coffee, the espresso sheen. This is my baby, love of my life. This is where I live. This is where I made like literally thousands. <laughs> Lots of, maybe not thousands, but a t enough. Lots and lots of freaking pumpkin spice lattes. So this is basically it. Um, This is my shop and I'm here all by my lonesome, solo dolo. So I was smart enough to grab some dinner before I came and that way, you know, when it's like right now it's slow, there's nobody here. I can go back, have a few bites, just kind of eat throughout the night. And um, yeah, super slow tonight. Whenever the rain is, whenever it's raining, I know it's gonna be a good, a good night. Good night for me because I'm gonna be like all by myself, not too crazy busy. Um, but the second the sun comes out, which it looks like it's gonna be coming out right now, the whole state pretty much flocks over here. How was your yogurt? Sorry, I, this is awkward for you. <laughs> I do a, a YouTube vlog every single day and I've never done it like here, so yeah. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. She wanted curly hair and her dress. I love this dress. It's so you, it's disgusting. In a good way. It's like a really light baby peak. Hold on, baby. And jewels, the necklace, earrings. These are gorgeous. It's like a really gold, pinky, purple, smoky eye with a little bit of white glitter on the bottom. Her easy lips and her hair down but pulled back, so this is what we got going on. I love it. Yeah, you look phenomenal.